Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a video about my experience at the Knit Picks and Connecting Threads warehouse sale. Um, I just got back about, Ooh. sorry about all the noise, my dogs are very excited to see me, but I just got back not very long ago from the warehouse sale here in Columbus, Ohio, and I had a blast. If you guys aren't familiar with a warehouse sale, basically it's just like a company that opens up their warehouse with lots of older products or products that they're trying to move and they discount them and you go and you buy a bunch of stuff like I did. Sorry if you can hear Squeaky, my dog's playing with his toy, but I'm not gonna stop him. So I heard about the Knit Picks sale, warehouse sale through Tony of TL Yarncrafts. She talked about it on her podcast and I immediately went and looked it up and there's very little information about it out there, but I did find the Facebook page and I was able to go I was supposed to meet my friend Sierra of Sierra's Crafty Creations. Um, she got there a little later than me, so her ticket was further back in the line and she ended up leaving because she didn't wanna wait as long as it was taking, which is totally understandable. So I ended up making friends with a bunch of the ladies in line and having a good time. I was in one of the first groups to go in. They had an early bird, like ticket that you could have grabbed but those went out really fast and those people were allowed to go in at eight and then um, everybody else got a ticket and it had a number on it and I was ticket number 40 so I was the 40, 40th person in line so they let 20 people in about half an hour early and then they let the next 20 people in at nine so I got to go in at nine and it was very overwhelming to say the least it was yarn everywhere and fabric everywhere um nitpicks shares a warehouse with connecting threads and connecting threads is a fabric company so there was tons of fabric at extremely great prices i didn't get any fabric because i was going strictly for the yarn a bunch of the ladies in line hi roxy they went and got tons of fabric so they got really great deals on that very well organized and i thought it went very smoothly like i said they had the ticket thing in line so no matter where you were in line if you had like whatever number you had, that's where you were in place. So they were asking people to check with your neighbors and see what number of ticket they had so you can get in the right order and you could go in at the appropriate time. So I got in really fast, like I said, I got in right at nine and I looked around and filled my bags with stuff. And then I went to a corner and I kind of went through it and decided what I wanted and what I didn't want. And I mostly got everything that I threw in there because you know what, that's what I went for. And I was kind of stocking up, so I don't really have to buy anything anymore. I got a lot of sweater quantities and I'm very excited, you guys. Sorry, I just had to kiss his little nose. It was very overwhelming. It was in their warehouse, like I said, but they only had it in the very, very front. So people were coming in here and then the warehouse sale was only at the very, very front of the building. So when people were coming in, the line to check out was also starting here. So they had to hold these people from coming in until this line went down, which was kind of a bummer because I felt like the people outside, they had to wait even longer because, you know, they couldn't even go in because there were too many people in line, but there was nobody really looking around. So that was the one thing that I was kind of like, oh, that kind of sucks. Mostly because I had a friend in line. So I, I felt really bad that she ended up leaving. But anyways, um, what else is there to say? I had so much fun. It was just, even like being by myself, I talked to so many people and I just had a blast. It. I'm pretty sure I was the youngest person in line for checkout um, because I got there so early. So I was with all of the early risers, should I say. I feel like the people that were more my age were still in line. <laughs> but if you plan on coming to the next one, it is located in Columbus, Ohio. They haven't had one for nine years, so this was a huge, they had so much stuff, like boxes and boxes of fabric, boxes and boxes of yarn, and they had so many books, and they had tons of knitting needle interchangeable sets. They had yarn swifts and like thread for fabric. They just had everything you could think of, and then some. But it was all packed into one small area, so they were refilling things. Oh, at least the fabric, I saw them refilling a lot of fabric, which was really cool that they were saving some for like other people that were coming in. But overall, I thought it was extremely well organized. I think that maybe if they spread it out through the warehouse or if they can figure out something different for the next time, that it might go even smoother. But having been the first one they've done in nine years, I would say from my side, it went off without a hitch. I didn't have 
one bad thing happened the entire time. Nobody tried to steal anything from me. Nobody shoved me, nothing like that. It was super well done where there was only like 40 people in there at a time, maybe 50, which made it less stressful, but it was still very overwhelming. Now I know people drove from several hours away. I talked to a few people that were like coming from Pittsburgh and I was parked behind somebody from Ontario. Doubt that they came here just for that, but you never know, they could have. They were here for it. That was it. Overall, it was a really great time. I think I got there at like 8.15, so about 45 minutes early and I did wait in line the whole time, but it was so worth it, so. My opinion is I would definitely go back next year. They were talking about, depending on how this one goes, maybe they'll have one again next year. However, it wouldn't be as big because they've had like nine years worth of collecting of stuff and things like that. They did say if they do it next year, they will probably try to have some like other vendors or like artists or something there, which would be kind of cool. But I'll definitely be back and I'm going to try to get an early bird ticket next time just for funsies. I didn't really need it this time because like I said they did have a ton of yarn and I feel like a majority of the people were looking at fabric not all of them but when I looked around when I was standing in the checkout line most people were in the fabric section and I don't really think there was anybody in the yarn section so I don't know if they were all still waiting outside but yeah there was still plenty of yarn for everybody whenever I left even though I bought a ton so I'm gonna show you guys right now what I got <laughs> I did write down the prices that I could find on Knitpicks as comparable as they are. Most of these products you still can get on the Knitpicks website, which is so cool. Like I got all of the stuff on a discount from the Knitpicks website, like bomb. Okay, I did the best I could to grab everything, but I have a pile here, I have some stuff over here, and let's just get started because there's a lot. So the first thing I got was this Yarn Swift. I wasn't gonna get one because I saw them when I first went in and they had like a whole table of like the lighter brown ones and some like darker brown ones and they were $40 and I was like that's a great deal but like I have one it works fine not gonna get it and then I was standing in the checkout line and they had a box full of random stuff and I saw like the bottom and I was like is that swift and it was I went over and I looked at it and the lady that was in line in front of me she had been talking to me for a while and she was like you need that and I was like no no I don't I have one and it works kind of and then she was like no you need that you're gonna thank me when you get home and I was like you're right I do need that ones that were in that box were only $20 so I grabbed this black one I can't take it out because this thing is really hard to move but this was $20 originally these are 80 on the nitpicks website if you can't find them on sale so I'm very excited to set this up because I have a plastic green one and it's just not great, honestly. It doesn't stay where I need it, it always slides down. It was free, so I'm not complaining, definitely not complaining. But they did have yarn bowls and yarn winders and everything, but I'm so happy that I got a new Swift. The next thing I decided to grab was a needle holder because I have a lot of loose Chiagus all over the place and these were, they had a ton, a ton of needle holders. I just went with the black one. They had so many colors. They had like different styles. This was the first one I saw, to be honest with you. First one I grabbed. It's basic. I like it. It serves the purpose that I need of it. And yeah, so these are originally $15 on the Nitpicks website and they had all of them for $5 at the sale. So we got one of those. And then I'm just going to start with the accessories because that's kind of like the boring part. I did grab some of these clover clips for sewing because I've been working on um, some project bags and I wanted to give these a try because I saw a bunch of people using them in tutorials. So these were a dollar and I thought, why not? Just give it a go. All right. And then the next thing I got were these sticking scissors are just really, really sharp scissors. But these are with the connecting threads and Knit Picks brand. So I'm pretty sure you can just find them on either site or whatever. I don't know anything about connecting threads really. I just know that it's fabric but these were also a dollar and I believe these are like 350 on the nitpicks website, but I'm looking to stick in the next couple of months. So I thought these really sharp pointy ones would be great for that. All right, and then I got a cute little project bag with a unicorn knitting on it. I just thought it was so cute. They had a ton of different project bags there. I believe these were $5 
and online they are like $8.99, $9, so really cute. I just couldn't resist. It was there. Probably didn't need it, but here it is. And if I don't like use any of this stuff myself, I thought it would be great for giveaways or fiber share and things like that in the future because it's such a discounted price. If it's something I'm going to be buying in the future, I'll just get it now. All right, and then the next accessories I got were some enamel pins. These, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep or gift. I'm the first enamel pin I got was yarn is part of my high fiber diet. Just thought that was adorable. And then I got the knitting sheep. And then I got this cute knitty, knit rainbow. So those are like knit stitches that make the rainbow from the clouds. And I just, I love these. I grabbed just like one of every one that I saw because I love enamel pins. And I think they're really great like includers in little gifts and things like that. Those were like two or three dollars depending on which pin it was and originally they're between $7.99 and $9.99 on the Knitpix website so those were a really great discount. And then I picked up two keychains that they had. They had two varieties. Now they sell this pin at my local yarn shop and I love it. I wish they had the pin version but I think I'm gonna keep this for myself because I just love the color of it. And then they have like a cute little cat with a yarn ball. I just thought these would be again great additional stuffing things for like packages and things that I do for like giveaways and exchanges. So the keychains were $3 online. I think they're $9.99. So I'm not like exact on on prices, but I'm pretty sure that that's what they are. I tried my best. And then these are some of my favorites. I got some stitch markers. I'm not going to keep all of these for myself. I'm sure I might. I don't know. I got some alpacas. I got some like warm and cozy. I actually got two of these didn't realize that but that's okay and then I got some socks I love the sock ones ah, I'm so excited about those but they actually didn't charge me for these on my receipt it says zero dollars she did ring them up um but it says zero so I got those for free so that's really cool and then I just got one more little thing of enamel stitch markers so these are just those round little rings normally these run $15 but I believe I got them for like five so yes and then on the Knitpix website, these are $8 and I got them for two. So these are always really great to have. All right, and let's move on to the yarn because I know that's what you came here for because that's what I went there for. So, sorry if I'm kind of cut off and I'm going kind of fast. I don't want this to be super long. I just kind of wanted to talk about my experience and show you guys what I grabbed. So the first thing I saw when I walked in was a bunch of lace weight yarn. And I was like, oh man, they're just gonna have like bases that nobody like uses and then I was kind of bummed and then I like turned a little bit and I saw a giant thing of bulky weight bare fiber. So I have some yarn dyeing stuff. I just like to play around with it sometimes and I was like this will be perfect. I've been out of bare yarn forever and I just like to have it on hand so I can do it randomly when I want. Sometimes my husband wants to do it with me and I like to be prepared for those moments. So I picked up this giant bag and the giant bag of this was only $20. I'm not sure how many you get in here. One, two, three, four, five. I think 10. I think there's 10 skeins of yarn in here. I paid $20. Originally they're $6.49 each. So that's about $60 for this package normally, but I got it for 20. So. And then right next to that was a random bag of Lion Brand Thick and Quick in Hudson Bay. And the orange stickers were $3. So I grabbed this and I was like, I always need this. I can always add this to my collection. I'll gift it to somebody. $3. I can't pass up three skeins. And normally I believe these are $7.99 at Joann's. So yeah, great deal on that one. And then I kind of just like walked around and just start throwing things inside. I don't know what came next, but we're gonna just grab. The next thing that I'm gonna show you is the Wonder Fluff, which I think this is a newer one that Knit Picks has, but this is a bulky weight Knit Picks Wonder Fluff yarn. And it is 70% baby alpaca, 7% merino, and 23% nylon, and it's very soft. So I got three colors. I got 10 balls of this because I wanted a sweater's quantity and then I got two each of these so I could use it as an accent color because I think I want to make my rug sweater with this because it's very similar to the yarn that I want to use for my rug sweater but much much cheaper. They're usually $8.49 on the Knit Picks website and I paid $6 a ball so 
there we go. I got a sweater quantity of this, and then these were the two accent colors that I chose. I don't know if I'll use them both together on the sweater or not, but I was kind of like stressed out. These probably aren't the colors I would have like grabbed to go for the sweater, but we'll make it work. All right, now we're getting into the thick of the fingering weight yarn. I got a ton of fingering weight yarn sweater quantities, so I will have them to make sweaters for myself or others, or I can de-stash it later on, but I decided I'd better get it while it was on the steel and so I could try it out because I don't typically use knit picks a lot because I like to try it like see the fibers in person before I use them. I'm going to start with the two that I just got one each of so I can make socks out of them. And the first one I got is this one, it's so pretty. I just didn't think that I would make a sweater out of this, but I thought it would make really great socks. It is the Hawthorne Fingering Happy Valley is the colorway I believe. And this is 80% superwash fine Highland wool and 20% polymade. And this is 357 yards. These are originally $13 and I got, I think most of the yarn I'm gonna tell you from here on out was like $10 a skein, something like that. So, got that. And then I got this for socks as well. This I got when I was in the checkout line. I just like snatched it when I walked by, I couldn't resist. And the lady behind me was like, that yarn makes me wanna learn to knit. So I think I did good with it. Again, this was $12.99. I got it for about 10 or something like that. So something else I am gonna show you, I got a sweater's quantity of just so I at least knew that I had something I could make with it and I'm kind of crazy. So let's go ahead and start with the Stroll Tweed Sock Labs yarn that I got. I got two of these actually, only saw two I think. And then some other lady was like looking for them and I considered her giving her mine, but I really like this. So this is in the Stroll Tweed Sock Labs Pink Tweed, and it's kind of like a variegated one. I really like it. It is 65% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon, and 10% dungle, which I believe is the tweed part. I This is so soft. I, like, I will definitely order Stroll. Like, this is very, very soft. And these were also in the same price range, I believe, like $12.99, and I got the... I think I got these for, like, much cheaper. I didn't look... I got a sweater quantity of the Hawthorne Fingering and Blackbird, and this is their Kettle Dyed. I believe these are also $12.99. They're the same Superwash hi Fine Highland Wool. I think I already showed you some Hawthorne Fingering. I got a bunch of the Hawthorne Fingering because they had a lot of that, but I just got the black tonal because I wanted a black yarn for a while, and I liked that this one was tonal. So this might be a sweater for my husband if I have enough. I think I only got four skeins of this. This one is my favorite, I think. This is the Hawthorne Fingering and this is the Rockaway Tonal Hand Paint. So it is the exact same. I got a sweater's quantity of this. It's so pretty. It's like a neutral, but like it's got so many tones in it. I love it so much. This is gonna make a really pretty sweater. Maybe even with some mohair, don't know. Kind of obsessed with mohair right now, so probably. And then the last yarn that I got from the Hawthorne Fingering, this was Specimen 1809.03. I don't know what that means, but this is the same. This is just, oh, that's so funny. They just put 20% polyamide on the label. They didn't even put the Highland wool part. But it's just a white speckle. I thought this would be a really nice sweater as well. So I grabbed a sweater quantity of this. And then the last two are probably the nicest yarns that I got out of all of this. These are originally $21.99 on the Knit Picks website. I got them for $10 each. I got a sweater's quantity of both of them because I want to be able to make something nice with these yarns. These are the Knit Picks Caporetta Elliott Hand Paints. So they're super wash. That's what the label looks like. These are 80% super wash fine merino wool and 10% cashmere, 10% nylon, and 460 yards. So the first one I got is this nice green tonal color with blues. This one, if my husband likes it, it's going to be something for him because it's more his style. If not, it brings up my green eyes. So <laughs> yes, so there's that one. The next one's my favorite, but it's the same specs. So it's 80% wool, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon, 460 yards. And look at it. This is in the... Berlin game <laughs> there you go you guys can read it oh it's so pretty I'm definitely going to make a sweater for myself out of this and it's so soft like I would buy this online 
but for $21.99, I would probably just go to an indie dyer. I don't know if that sounds really bad or like selfish, but I'd rather support a small company such as a indie dyer or my local yarn shop for the price of this, but for $10, I'm not mad about it. So this is going to get me through for a while, hopefully. I don't plan on buying any yarn for a while. So if you watch my podcast and there's accusations in it, yell at me because I don't want to buy any yarn because I have a lot now. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys liked this rambly, like random all over the place video because I had so much fun and I just wanted to come back and talk to my friends, you guys. So I appreciate you watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the warehouse sale or anything like that, leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to talk to you about it and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!